So on Facebook, actually, uh, she sent us the question. So Gabrielle said, I'm already here. Yay. Um, and thanks for the advice. It's been so much easier, uh, all the arriving process. Now I'm in Toranga and a group of Latins and I would like to know what things cheap or free beside the beach there is to do around. Um, soon we will have a car so we can make one day trips. Thank you for the great help. All right. Do you want to cool. get started on this yeah. one? Yeah. So um, the first thing that springs to mind for cheap and free things to do in Toranga is spending some time in Mount Monganui, which is the, the suburb which has that big mountain at the end of it. And I think the number one thing to go and do is to hike up Mount Monganui and get some awesome views from up there where you get to see the nice long stretching beaches and all the urban areas of Toranga. That's really cool and an absolute must do in Mount Monganui. Um, also at Mount Monganui, there is an island that you can walk to there's a little causeway to get over to the island and that's called Leisure Island and it's accessible from the main beach in Mount Monganui and on there there's a little bit of a walk um, a few information signs because this island used to be sort of like a leisure park and have like some spas there also some like wildlife dolphin parks and stuff there so it has a bit of a colorful history that you can read about when you go and visit it so that's a really cool thing to do as well but like you mentioned, you do have a car so you can go and do some day trips and a really awesome day trip that we, we've done ourselves is going to McLaren Falls Park. Um, so that's just, it's literally about 20 minutes drive out of Taranga and there's loads of different walks you can do around there. There's a beautiful big lake. There's obviously some waterfalls to see and um, some beautiful picnic areas as well and some glowworms. So um, yeah, so McLaren Falls Park is another really cool option. And we do actually have a video to what visiting McLaren Falls Park is like, which we'll link up in the description when we repost this video. Um, and yeah, some more things to do in Toranga itself. The art gallery is free to visit, which is always worth having a check out. And that usually takes about 30 minutes to go and visit the art gallery. Um, and you can also go to the farmer's markets. They're always definitely worth checking out in New Zealand. It's really part of the Kiwi culture. Um, there's lots of like food tastings, there's usually live music, and it's just like a really awesome place to go and check out. So in terms of where the farmers markets are in Taranga, there's one in Coronation Park on Saturdays, um, and there's also one in the Phoenix Car Park on Sundays. Um, is there any that you'd like to go through, Robin? Um, where are we on, on the list? Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. Do you guys like surfing? I mean, that's pretty cool. Uh, Mount Manganui is actually quite uh, famous for surfing. There is uh, sur there's surfing and there is also stand-up paddle boarding, which is really cool to do. Um, well, surfing is obviously going to be cheaper because you can just hire the surfboard. You don't have to go through a lesson if you don't want to. Um, but yeah, it's really cool to do and especially really fun to do with your mates as well, yeah. which, which I do really like. What else do yeah. we have on the list? And also about surfing, if you're staying at one of the hostels, they do hire uh, surfboards for really cheap. So yeah, it's yeah. all free, I think, in some cases. So yeah, that's definitely free or cheap. It's, it's, it's not the best. It's not the best surfboard, but <laughs> it's free or cheap, yeah. Um, another really cool place to go to, it's a little bit of a drive, but it's uh, Papamoa Beach. Um, it's absolutely stunning, especially at sun, uh, sunrise, right? Sun, well, yeah. both sunrise yeah. and both sunset. Sunrise, sunrise, yeah. But sunrise is absolutely amazing. So it's a great place to go. If you're a group of friends, you know, you grab yourself basically a picnic and you go and, uh, and have fun over there. It's really, it's a really amazing place. I know you said, uh, you say like not just the beach, but this beach in particular yeah. is really stunning. That's a different, so different beach. It, <laughs> it's an excursion. Um, yeah. There is also the Tepuna Quarry Park. Um, it's a really big park with a lot of exotic trees. There is also some sculptures. So Tepuna is T-E-P-U-N-A. Uh, if you want to type that onto your GPS. Um, there is also uh, the Elms Mission House, which is one of the oldest house in uh, New Zealand, actually 1847, if I'm correct. Um, and um, yeah, it's a, it's a great place to kind of um, uh, understand a bit more of the early kind of uh, Kiwi culture. It's like an old Cori house. So Cori trees is, so those really big trees and really hardwood, it gives a very different kind of feel and look to a place. Um, now the Coris are very endangered here in New Zealand. So it's like highly protected and you may understand um, uh, why more, 
visiting that. Uh, there is also one of uh, our favorite waterfall in the country. Actually, it's featured on our list of the 15 best waterfall in the country. Is the Kai I can yeah. pronounce that. Kai Aite yeah. Falls. Um, the uh, drive over there is about 30 minutes out of Toranga, and uh, when you arrive there, it's a one-hour loop. So it's really not that long, but it's really fun with group as well and some amazing picture opportunities. So make sure to tag us on Instagram if you take some awesome picture on that. What's the tag? It's hashtag NZ. If your picture is <laughs> good enough, we're going to feature it on the feed. Um, yep. So yeah, that's basically that's basically it for like what we consider is kind of in Toranga. But since you're going to have a car, definitely consider like a short drive to like the Karanga Heke Gorge, which mm. is absolutely amazing. There's like uh, mine shafts and, and it just looks absolutely Really fantastic. Yeah. Um, also drive to Rotorua. There's plenty of stuff to do in Rotorua. Heaps of uh, Maori culture, heaps of amazing activities, and probably on the East Cape as well, um, yeah. which is uh, on the on, on yeah on the east side of the North Island. There's a lot of stuff to do there. Um, start driving toward the Puke, which is the Kiwi capital of New Zealand. <laughs> start driving toward Opotiki, and there is some awesome uh, dunes to explore, some great mountain mountain biking, uh, mountain biking yeah. areas and all of that. So yeah, so definitely around Taranga, it's kind of a hub and you are so like you're not really central but you're in the middle of the north and so you have a kind of a lot to visit around and there is there is no shortage of things to do in yeah. Taranga that's for sure definitely all right so i hope that this answered your question gab if you do have any follow-up in the comments below if you guys want to dive a little bit deeper again into the uh, the things that there is to do in Taranga we are going to be putting a link to an article uh, of our favorite free and cheap things to do in Taranga, as well as our backpacker guides to Taranga, just so you get a feel just for the everything. place, know where yeah. to stay, and, and all mm. of that. So, so yeah, um, that's basically uh, our stuff right now, and uh, we're gonna get back to the live chat. Let's do it. <laughs> 